there was a, uh, a gear reduction unit. Right, right. They, but, you know, it's such a pretty motor. This is the kind of motor you just want to buy and hang on the wall just to look at because it's nicely done. As you can see by the cooling fins here, it was all done in a CNC machine. This is the oil tank here. Oil goes here. Uh, gasoline goes here. Uh, there's your 90 degree shaft, obviously, your transmission. Brake, and of course, six speed gearbox on the other side. Traditional motorcycle here, front brake, and clutch right here. And the clutch is quite easy, actually. Jesse told me that he put an, an, an easy, soft clutch in it. You know, he didn't, he didn't want to do, be doing wheelies. Or right, right, <laughs> yeah. I like the black and the polished aluminum. And I love this exhaust system. Boy, this is really clever. I don't know what it looked like, what the exhaust system looked like when it came on the motor originally. Yeah, there was just, just, the, the, it just had stub pipes on here. Now, Russ threw this thing in the back of his uh, minivan. And I told you it was going to take three men and the boy, and with me helping it, we needed three more men. Exactly. But he brought it all the way from Kansas. Now, it hasn't run in a couple of years, so we just checked. The battery is completely dead. Uh, it doesn't have any fuel in it. We're going to drop the, uh, a couple of the uh, spark plugs up the lower cylinders to make sure there's no oil in there so it doesn't hydraulic and lock up. Um, we'll hook a big battery up to it, and uh, who knows? Maybe we can get it to fire. What do you think, Russ? Think it'll fire? Oh, I'm sure it will. He's sure it'll fire. I'm sure it will. Yeah, these Kansas boys, they're gamblers. All right, let's let's uh, let's take a look and see what happens. Thanks for bringing this thing by. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Next time we'll have plates on it, we'll take it for a ride.